Thanks, guys. Great to be here. Yeah, so um, your tax dollars at work. You've got a, a kook academic out at the University of Colorado Boulder who says parents should need a license to raise their children. And before they can be given a license, they need to have their views screened to make sure they don't have negative opinions about homosexuality or, or other issues right? yet to be determined. Um, you have no right to raise your children, says this guy. Uh, thankfully, critics are uh, picking up here and sounding the alarm. His name is uh, Connor Keon Poor. Uh, he's got a, a paper out. This was just published in the Journal of Ethics and Social Philosophy, uh, funded by uh, taxpayers. And uh, in the paper, uh, it's called The Kids Aren't All Right, expanding the role of the state in parenting. This uh, self-styled philosopher says that government really should be primarily responsible for the raising of children. And uh, that's no problem because parents have, and I'm quoting here, no right to raise their own children. All right, now he says, individuals have no right to rear their biological children, nor do they have any interests weighty enough to justify a right to rear children generally. That's what Keon Poor says in his paper. He's a PhD candidate in philosophy. Uh, he says, since these rights do not exist, regulated parenting policies cannot be said to jeopardize them. Imagine that, right? Talk about nuttiness. Uh, this is what happens when you put a bunch of weirdos in a room, give them a bunch of taxpayer money and say, do something, right? Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, because there's no right to raise your own children, the state doesn't need any special justification to steal your children or to enforce a parental licensing scheme. In other words, if you can't get permission from the government, if your views are not in line with what the government believes they should be, then you would have the state come in and kidnap your children from you. If you want to get this license to be able to raise your children, you need to jump through a bunch of hoops, uh, including a test of your views. You have to have views that are approved by the government. Uh, this individual, Keon Poor, uh, I think is how you say his name, he says certain individuals are unfit to rear children because they are objectionably intolerant of certain backgrounds and ways of life. So um, he gets into some of this. And you know, it's interesting. W would, would your average American be objectively intolerant of uh, is pedophilia a way of life? Is uh, bestiality a way of life? Is adultery a way of life? Is swinging a way of life? Is being addicted to cocaine and crack or heroin a way of life? Hmm. Well, you don't want anybody intolerant of crackheads. So this guy goes on. Uh, he says that uh, the specific example he gives is uh, sodomy, homosexuality. Uh, if you want to be allowed to parent your children, you must be pro-sodomy. Uh, he says strongly homophobic individuals are unfear, uh, unfit to rear children. Uh, also, racist, sexist, and others who are intolerant all need to be weeded out uh, through this parental licensing scheme. And it's interesting because, uh, you know, obviously this guy is a terrible bigot. Obviously, he is intolerant of Christians, of Muslims, of Orthodox Jews, of billions of people around the world who don't share his fringe views on homosexuality. In fact, this whole homosex thing, uh, this just happened within the last few years, right? For all of human history, billions of years of human history, um, this has not been the norm. Uh, and so he's objectively intolerant of anybody who doesn't agree with him. Whether that would disqualify him from raising children is not made clear. Uh, he also says, uh, if you are a member of an organization that would give us reason to believe that you might be intolerant, then you also should not be allowed to have your children. Uh, he doesn't name uh, specific organizations, but you can imagine like, yeah. Oh, sorry, he does. He, he names the Westboro Baptist Church as one example. It's uh, some church that is really anti-homosexuality. So if you're a member of that church, you cannot have children, okay? Um, he goes on to say that uh, the government would develop these standards that would evaluate parental competency. They would evaluate whether you meet the standards. And if you don't meet the standards, you would be prevented from rearing children. Now, thankfully, uh, this lunatic and his totalitarian fantasies are being exposed. Uh, the pro-family leader, Kimberly Ells, actually highlighted the implications of this lunacy. Uh, she's got a great Substack post on this. She says, if taken seriously, Count Poor's ideas could seismically disrupt the functioning of families and therefore the functioning of the world. Um, yeah, that's putting it mildly, obviously. Uh, and uh, Els is uh, the author of The Invincible Family, a book about how no matter how much the tyrants and totalitarians rage, they're not going to succeed in demolishing the family. But, um, you know, it, obviously these kinds of things sound unhinged and ridiculous to normal people. But uh, uh, as Els points out, this is 
actually not as far-fetched as we might like to think it is. She says, we're not light years away from something like this being uh, enacted. She points to these uh, new laws that they're considering out in California, right? She says, a potent vision of this scheme is already being propelled forward by transgender activism. Now, uh, I actually reached out to Keon Poor to find out a little bit of stuff. Like, you know, who, who's paying for all this? Obviously, it's taxpayers. I asked him for an estimate on how much money he has mooched off of the taxpayers. No response. Um, and, you know, obviously, his views are, are pretty far out there on the fringe. Uh, he's trying to get a PhD in philosophy, but he's not alone, right? We got a whole bunch of these people. We got law professor James Dwyer at William and Mary College. Uh, he purports to debunk parental rights. He says the only reason there's a child parent relationship is because the state confers legal parenthood on people through paternity and maternity laws. Um, you also have uh, these really disgusting weirdos that, uh, in academia saying that children have a right to have sex with adults, and um, it's not even that bad for them, right? It's actually good for them. So said uh, one lunatic in 2020 working at a, a university down south. Uh, we documented this at the Newman Report. Folks, these people are very dangerous, right? All throughout human history, the people trying to separate children from the protection of their parents, they're never the good guys, right? They're either mass-murdering totalitarians, they're perverts who, who have weird fantasies, right? they're never, ever the good guys. So I did reach out to Keon Poor. I asked him if he had children, no response. I asked him if he had a bad childhood, bad parents, no response. Uh, how much money have taxpayers spent to, support, spent to support your silly academic pursuits? No response. Uh, how do you respond to accusations that evildoers like perverts and totalitarians are those who seek to remove children from the protection of their parents? No response. But folks, these unhinged ramblings are really powerful evidence that it's time to fundamentally rethink taxpayer funding for this farce that is modern academia. Without a steady flow of billions and billions of tax dollars to this insane asylum masquerading as higher education, uh, these people would actually have to go out and do productive things. They'd have to, uh, you know, fix toilets. They'd have to sweep floors. They'd have to cook food for people. They'd have to, uh, you know, farm or, or, or do something useful instead of come up with these crazy papers instead of scheming on how to steal other people's children. Uh, folks, that is what would safeguard society and children is putting these weirdos to work doing something useful. That's all for today. Thanks, guys. Till next time.